Welcome to What's New from At Home Net. This video will cover new features and enhancements for May through June 2012. Let's get started. We're going to kick things off with the exciting introduction of the new Front Desk Services from At Home Net. Some of the most important things you can manage in your community are the people, resources, and items that come in and out of it. At Home Net now introduces the perfect way to effectively and conveniently manage every aspect of that process and at the same time provide a powerful technology amenity that your residents will truly love. Front Desk Services, a suite of affordable online solutions that use the power of technology to help you do everything from track and deliver packages coming in, to issuing passes for short and long term visitors, all from the convenience of the internet. Three powerful tools one great service. Package tracking. Scan, log, and track incoming packages from receipt to resident pickup using a barcode scanner and signature pad. Residents can even opt to automatically receive an email or text message when a package is ready for them to pick up. Reduce liability, streamline processes, and increase communications to make sure everyone receives their packages on time and intact. Valet scheduling. Let your residents submit their valet requests online from wherever they are and receive a friendly email or text message reminder when their car is available. Simple and easy to use for the residents and the valet staff. Visitor Management Easily manage the flow of visitors from a single guest to a large party with web-based visitor management. Handle permanent, temporary, and restricted guests as well as printing visitor badges to ensure safety, security, and peace of mind for everyone involved. Front Desk Services from At Home Net. Building Management Simplified. For more information on Front Desk Services, you can visit www.athomenet.com slash Front Desk Services. There you'll find a form where you can request free information. The next enhancement we'd like to introduce is to our eForms feature. Let's go ahead and click on our eForms feature to check it out. We're now announcing the addition of the new indent label feature, which will make your eForms even more visually appealing and clear to those who view them. To demonstrate this, we're going to go to an existing eForm that we already created for a kids' fun day event we're having in our community. So we have a lot of great activities planned out for the kids. We created this form where residents could submit their child's name and inform us of which activities they're interested in participating in at specific time slots during the day. When we look at this form though, it's a little confusing and everything is kind of all bunched together. The new indent label feature is going to help us make this form a lot more clear and easy to read. So we're going to go ahead and edit this form and specifically we're going to edit the form fields. So what we really want to do is indent over some of this information using this new functionality. We're going to first handle our time slots. Here we have 10 to 11 a.m., 11 to 12, and 12 to 1 as the times that these activities take place. So we'll go to our indent label drop-down and we're going to indent these over once. Make sure you click save on each one of these individually. So we've indented our time slots over once. Now we're going to preview. So as you can see it's created a little bit of separation. But it's still not perfect. So now we're going to use our indent label feature to indent these activities over twice. Once again, be sure to save these individually as you do them. But you'll want to come down and do each one of them. Once we've done all of them, let's take a look at the form now. So as you can see, the use of the new indent label feature has improved the appearance of this eForm dramatically. Now the form is much more straightforward and visually appealing, and it's clear when someone reads it, these are the time periods, indent and over, the specific activities, for their children to be involved in. Let's move right along to the next enhancement, which is also in the eForms feature. We've now added a requested date calendar pop-up field to our eForm functionality. Let's go to another existing eForm and check it out. Our lost and found. We'll go in to edit this form. So you will notice date as an available option in the drop-down for type. So we'll save this. Now we will preview this and you will see here on the date 
a pop-up calendar appears. When you select a date, it auto-fills the form with whatever date you selected. Another great time saver and convenience within the eForms interface. Let's move along to the next enhancement. This will be an enhancement to the Instant Articles feature, which of course is a widget. And this enhancement is all about helping you make sure that fresh new compelling content is always available for display on your home page. Let's click Edit Page and get into the Instant Articles. We'll go under Edit Properties. As you can see here in the drop down menu, you now have an option for Random Articles. With random articles, when you select a particular category, and for this example we'll choose Live Right, Live Well, because we have a very health conscious community, instead of limiting you to the most recent articles in a category, random articles will pull different articles from the entire pool of available online articles on a subject. With this change, every time someone visits the site, they'll be presented with new random entries from the category of articles they selected. So we'll go ahead and apply, and then hit refresh. So here you see we have eight different random articles on living right and living well. If we hit refresh again, you'll see the articles change. Each time a resident logs in, the feature will shuffle through and display more random results from the robust list of articles available, presenting them with a wide array of options. Going forward, random articles will be the default setting on this widget, but of course you can always go in and customize it exactly the way you want it. But we recommend the random article setting to keep your content fresh with each visit. Let's move along to the next enhancement. This enhancement is to our reservations feature. So we'll go to our reservations feature, and here we're looking at our main golf course amenity. So today is Wednesday, June 20th. And as you can see, the main golf course is listed as not available in these various time slots as you hover over it. You see a pop-up stating, rule restriction, this reservation does not meet the minimum advance notice requirements meaning that our administrator set up this amenity with a restriction so that you could not book it without at least 24 hours notice. In contrast, let's skip ahead a month, say to July. Here as we hover over our unavailable status, we see a pop-up that says it's too far ahead to book the facility. Our administrator also set it up so we couldn't book this far ahead, and the pop-up status reflects that. These message pop-ups are presets within your website and deal specifically with rule restrictions to an amenity only. As an administrator, the messages themselves cannot be altered. There are different prompts that come up depending on the reason for unavailability. The amenity is not open or available on the date time selected. The start time does not meet the minimum reservation time required before closing. The start time does not meet the minimum reservation time required before the next reservation. Each of these messages is auto-displayed whenever a resident hovers above the status. Your residents now are informed as to the reasons behind booking for an amenity not being available at a desired time. Let's move right along to the next enhancement, which is an enhancement to our Task Manager feature. So we'll go into our ARC request. Let's say we want to mark one of our ARC requests as closed. We'll choose this private area painting. Currently the status was closed pending, and we want to go ahead and mark it as closed. We mark it as closed, and when we pull it up in our close requests, you'll see that the date closed has been auto-filled from the second we closed it. The auto-population of this field as soon as the task is closed saves you the time of entering it manually and helps ensure accuracy for our records. Last but not least, we'd like to introduce new email bulletin designs to add to our growing list of templates for your community. Scroll through some of the new choices, and we're sure you'll find something you like. And of course, each one of them is customizable to your needs. Well, that'll just about do it for the May-June 2012 edition of What's New in At Home Net. We'd love to hear your ideas for new features and enhancements. Send us an email to support at athomenet.com with your suggestions. Thanks for watching, thanks for your business, and we'll see you soon for the next edition of What's New from At Home Net. That concludes this month's edition of What's New. We'd like to thank all of our existing clients for your time and for your business. As always, we encourage your feedback and ideas, so if you have any suggestions for new features or new enhancements to existing features, send us an email to support at athomenet.com. If you don't have website service with us and you like what you see, send us an email to sales at athomenet.com or give us a call at 1-800-556-7852. Be sure to tune in next month for more new features and more new enhancements from AtHomeNet.